Supply side efficiency is basically looking at the potential that is in the conversion technologies and the transformation technologies where primary fuel is converted into electricity, into heat, and so on and so forth. And so there is really where the, the primary fuel reduction potential exists. And if you look at the 400 billion that Europe has spent in the last year, reducing that can be a major boost to the European economy. There are member states where um, the supply side efficiency opportunities are almost at par with what you can do on the, on the demand side. So what we are saying is not that you should not do the demand side, but if you do not address the opportunities on the supply side, it's a missed opportunity. The energy efficiency, depending on what kind of source of energy you talk about, you could be between 30 to 80 percent. Uh, and if you talk about gas, which is uh, topping the higher energy efficiency bits, you are around 60 percent if you are 55 to 60 percent if you are using a gas fired power station, a new one, and up to 80 percent if you if you use a combined heat and power one, as we call in our jargon a CHP one. So as you can see, a really huge saving potential are in the supply side uh, of it. If we look at the 2020 goals, it is remarkable that the last 20%, that of energy efficiency, does not get so much attention, whereas it is uh, uh, delivering the highest gains and uh, uh, the highest benefits. So I think that that area is very much in the shade and deserves to be in the light. Europe's uh, power production is extremely inefficient, unfortunately. Our reliance on fossil fuels and nuclear means that uh, power plants operate with an efficiency of roughly 30 to 40 percent, which when you compare to renewable energy is extremely inefficient. So clearly we have to take action in the power sector. We also have to take action in buildings. Most of Europe's buildings are, are very inefficient, very difficult to heat, very difficult to keep warm and very costly to do so. Clearly we need sweeping improvements from insulation to better heating systems. In energy efficiency there is not uh, one solution that uh that resolve all the problems. There is no silver bullet. You really need a complex mix of energy, um, of policy measures and incentives. However, I would say that one measure that could help is to have agreed, finally, legislation and energy saving bar, uh, binding target. Energy efficiency remains optional. Member states can choose to save or not to save energy. And when given the choice, they are almost uh, universally choosing, sadly, to do nothing. If everybody would only be aware what money saver energy efficiency could be and that it would provide jobs here on the spot and in no other continent and that it would be immediate cash saving, uh, uh, then I think that that uh, uh, would actually come to the forefront, which it has failed to do up to now.